Hi everyone! I've created a video for you this morning to talk uh, briefly about uh, your research, your data collection, and what you can do for this study um, under the approval form for our from our research board. So whenever a study uh, conducted with human subjects collects data using those subjects, uh, it has to go for approval through the research board. So to simplify things, we have submitted a generic approval form for all the sections of this course, and I'm going to talk briefly about what that approval allows us to do and not to do to make it um, absolutely clear for your study. Uh, so first, um, any uh, data that you collect, any information that you collect, and any writing that you do, uh, you must keep within this class. So nothing can be published outside of this class or presented publicly. Um, it is approved only for classroom and uh, in an in-class use. Um, so that's really important. Second, um, you may not work uh, with interviews, uh, videos, photographs or collections of work, samples of work um, that you identify uh, belonging to anyone under the age of 18. So uh, that means that within your writing you can't include a photograph, a video, uh, a quote or a sample of someone's work um, and you may not include um, interview content. However, that doesn't mean that you can't go into your classroom that may have minors in it, talk to students and then um, incorporate some notes on, on how you think things went. As long as you're careful not to identify any minors, um, you should be okay. So again, your own narrative, your own notes, your own observations, um, as long as they're non-identifying are fine. Just no specific data that um, belongs to or identifies a minor. Okay, so be careful about that. However, you may interview and document interactions with someone over the age of 18. You still want to keep that anonymized, but you could include a sample of someone's work, you could include interview notes or summary notes from an interview, um, results of a questionnaire, uh, anything like that is fine for someone over the age of 18. Um, I think that covers most of our guidelines. So I'm going to just speak very briefly about the kinds of data you might look for in an action research paper. Um, so generally, when you're conducting action research, you are looking at your own reflection on the work that, that you've done or the changes you've made to a classroom or observations within a classroom. So how do you document those observations? Um, you may simply take notes as you are introducing something new uh, during and after. So you can keep um, notes, you can do this in memo form, kind of like little um, blurbs that you, you make to yourself. You can also create a narrative and uh, this is a really interesting way to document uh, something that you've introduced to the classroom. Erickson talks a lot about um, using narratives to collect information about classroom events. So here you can, you can um, think of the what takes place in the classroom as a story and kind of retell it in your own notes. Um, so these are some different ways to collect your own observational data um, during action research. And then you go back and look at what you've collected and reflect on it and um, make notes again. So you're looking for themes, you're looking for commonalities, you're looking for um, sort of a general uh, summary that you can take away or several summary points. You might be surprised by the things you find. Sometimes and very often actually you find things that you weren't really setting out to find and you can include that in your paper as well. All right, so beyond action research, um, you may also wish to, especially if you're doing option uh, B or C, you may want to analyze uh, documents. You may want to, uh, to observe, for example, if you're looking at your school culture, you might want to observe um, situations in the hallway or meetings or things like that and take notes on it. Um, just make sure that no one's identity is revealed as you're doing that. So observations um, outside the classroom are okay. Analysis of handouts, analysis of, of any materials that you use, those are okay as well. Um, you may want to interview teachers that you know or learners um, and that's okay as well as long as they're not minors. Um, you can include notes on that. You can also create and distribute a questionnaire if interviews are cumbersome or not possible given where you're located. 
um, or if you want to collect information, let's say from four different teachers, you can have a focus group where you ask them questions and you record and take notes on their answers as a group. So these are just some different uh, types of data that might support what you're working on. Um, try not to confound your literature review with your data collection. Think of them as two different and unique steps. I hope this was really helpful to everyone. Um, I'm starting to have our conferences this morning, so I look forward to speaking to those of you uh, who've signed up for conferences with me. And I'm, of course, still available via email. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.